I know there's a lot of world eater content on the channel right now, but it is the Legion I'm spending the most time with right now. New Codex, Arcs of Omen Angron, new models. There's just a ton of awesome little nuggets right now to enjoy. And one thing that really sticks out to me as I'm going through this is the Emperor's really poor treatment of Angron. For those new to 40k or maybe the Primarch lore, Primarchs were spread across the galaxy and had unique upbringings on various planets, and that's an oversimplification, but it helps get the point across. And Angron's upbringing was arguably one of the worst, growing up on the world of Nasiria as a slave. He was tortured, he was beaten, forced to fight. He had a device nailed into his head that changed his brain chemistry, no longer allowing him to feel any sort of pleasure. And when the Emperor eventually went to retrieve Angron, well, Angron wanted to stay on his planet. He was leading his fellow slaves in a rebellion effort in hopes of dying alongside them, free, finally, with those who he loved. And the Emperor wouldn't let him stay. He actually teleported him away from the planet against his will and never gave him any sort of apology or explanation. And Angron never forgave the Emperor for that. To make things worse, he was never sent to his other brother Primarchs. He was never given time to bond with them and grow. He was just teleported away and given a legion and told to lead it. Angron was absolutely set up to fail from the beginning. And that's one of the things a lot of people love about 40k. The Emperor, the loyal legions, their past, their actions can be just as dark as the followers of Chaos or the Xenos species. And it makes it very hard to ever agree with your faction's whole viewpoint. And that gives you this moral gray characters. It makes it very, very unique as a sci-fi setting. So the more I learn about the world leaders, the more I feel for Angron. But what do you guys think? Let me know down below.